Hey y'all, this is Brett and today I'm going to show you how to neutralize the electricity coming out of an extension cord by covering that extension cord with some insulation tubing type stuff that I bought from lessemf.com, lesselectromagneticfrequencies.com. And you know, all of the appliances and uh, the cords on those appliances are generally emitting a, a varying degree of static electricity into the air. And since our bodies are mostly water, they absorb that static electricity and it causes problems with your nervous system, it makes your muscles tighter, etc. <coughs> so, you can buy this multimeter from lessemf.com and you can test your body's electricity with being near or touching any of the appliances so that you can tell how much they're emitting. And if you uh, take a plug, a grounding plug, you can buy those. See that green grounding plug, that wire is just connected to the third prong. So it's a grounding plug that you can connect to the black wire coming out of the, the multimeter. And then when you pinch the red wire here, that gives you a reading of how much electricity is in your body. And I have roughly 0 0.149150 of a volt of electricity in me right now. Now this room is electrically very quiet because I turned the breaker off and I ran a separate line coming into this room from another room that's hot and that line is insulated. <clears throat> There's that line coming in from the kitchen and that line is insulated because I covered it with the tubing and then wrapped it with copper wire. There it is coming into the room and see this, there, there it goes and it goes to this, this strip here that I can plug appliances into. The first thing that I have plugged in was a light. And then I covered the light's wire with this insulated tubing and copper wire. So, that's what I'm going to do with this extension cord right here. Now I'm going to show you how much electricity is coming out of the extension cord <clears throat> by plugging it in and then getting close to it and or stepping on it. Now, when I'm standing next to this cord, I'm not even touching it, I have 0.667 roughly of a volt of electricity in me. So you see that that went up roughly a half of a volt. A half of a volt just by standing next to this cord. Now if I stand on the cord, it goes up to nearly one volt. Okay? <clears throat> so it is an increase of roughly four times more static electricity in my body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover that with this tubing, this conductive tubing. What is this conductive tubing? It's plastic that's had graphite added to it. Graphite. Where is that? I put it away. Okay, so the graphite, it's conductive. It's a, it's a mineral. It's a stone and they grind it into a powder and then they mix it with the plastic. It's a conductive carbon. And so then they make this tubing out of it and it absorbs the static electricity. Now it doesn't move the static electricity. I've tested it and I know that it doesn't move the static electricity over a long period, a, lo a long space of the tubing very well. So what I do is I wrap it with copper wire and then it does. So, <clears throat> I'll show you what you do here. Oh, and incidentally, I was able to buy this whole roll, a whole roll of this insulated tubing, which is 750 feet for $200. Versus if you buy it by the foot, it's about a buck and a quarter a foot. So it costs a lot more. So, What I'm going to do here is I've pulled out an amount 
it's roughly the length of this cord. And then all you do, all you do is, is push it through all the way to the end. And it's not always easy to do that <clears throat> because you have to meander it all the way to the end. So when I get done pushing it all the way through, then I'll come back to you. Okay, so now I've got the cord pushed all the way through the conductive tubing to the end. And now I'm going to drill a little hole right at the base of the grounding plug here so that I can push the wire through there. And what I've got to do to be able to drill a hole in this is to make a little tiny starting point so that the drill bit will stay in the end of the hole like that. So now, I'm going to take the plug and I'm going to push the copper wire through there. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take some needle nose pliers. and wrap it like that. And then I'm just going to start wrapping the copper wire all the way around it. Actually I'll start with the, the tubing about right there. And I like to wrap the wire on the end several times so that it's really tight. Okay, so you can see now that I've got the copper wire pushed through the end of the, the uh, grounding wire plug. And now it's starting to wrap around the cord. And after I've got it all the way down to the other end, we'll start again. so I ran out of wire so I just wrapped it a couple times and started a new piece and wrapped the new piece over the old piece several times so it's connected. Okay so I'm all the way to the other end now and I'm gonna make a loop on the end here so that if I need to connect a gator clip to this I'll have something to connect to to connect it to. And sometimes if you've got an appliance with just two plugs, you've got to do that so that you have a connector to be able to connect to a ground. Okay, so there we go. There's my, my extension cord, completely grounded. It's a 15 foot extension cord. And let's test it. So, the whole covering, the whole wire is connected there.
put that on voltage and you can see that that I have, if I pinch the end now, I have back to where it was before, 0 0.149, 148. But now the plug is plugged in. It's plugged in. And my foot is right next to it. And it still has the same. That's because that cord is completely covered and grounded. Now, if I put my foot on the cord, it goes to nothing. And that's because that little bit of electricity that's in my body, it gets grounded out to the earth. When I take my foot off the cord, it goes back. When I put my foot on, it grounds me and I get all the way down to four one thousandths, three there, three one thousandths of a volt. That is very low voltage. So when I'm touching something that's grounded, I actually get grounded too and it, it neutralizes the electricity. It draws it straight out to the earth. That's the power of grounding. So thanks for joining me. I hope you're well.